So, this is Sandy Mouth. Ever heard of it? And yet, here I am. So, let me just explain the reasons why I've ended up here tonight. I was finishing off a shoot this morning, and it was a long, long morning. On the way back, I met a fellow photographer, a guy by the name of Ian Robertson. And we got a chat in, and I just so happened to mention that I'm looking for somewhere to photograph tonight for a sunset. And he said, you've got to come to this place. He was here last night apparently, and it was out of this world. 30 miles away from where I was. Took me an hour and a half to get here, by the way. Says a lot about these roads down here. But yeah, so Ian, thanks for the tip. If it's pants tonight, if I take rubbish pictures, then you could blame Ian, all right. <laughs> So genuinely, I haven't been here before. It's quarter past six and sunset is in 30 minutes, quarter to seven. So this is probably gonna be a very short video, but I did it around coming down here with the drone and the walking shots and the usual stuff that you do. But quite literally, I've left myself with just 30 minutes to play with, that's all. Tide is on its way out. I did check the tide times. The, tide, or the high tide was at four o'clock tonight, so that's uh, quarter past six now, so two hours worth of tide in and out. So all I'm gonna do is shoot out into the sun. I'm hoping we're gonna have a really nice sunset and I'm just gonna try and isolate one of these many, many rocks in the foreground to add a bit of interest. And as always, I'm playing around with the sea, so I'll change shutter speeds just to see how my mood feels. But I gotta tell you, Ian, hat off to you. This is a stunning looking location. And if I have a miserable, lousy sunset tonight, honestly, I won't blame you because this is a proper nice place. Again, it's one of these places you've got to come back to time and time again. Wow. Yeah, but looking already, I'm, I can see a massive rock to my right-hand side. Uh, the tide is well out past it. Already, I'm thinking to myself, if the tide was slightly higher, that would work. Loads of rocks out to my left-hand side, loads on the right-hand side. There's some a bit further out there. I've got my wellies on, so I might even wander out. Anyway, let's rush and see what I can muster up. Let me just interrupt myself for a brief second and give you guys a heads up and a warning with regards to the rest of this video. Unfortunately, I was hit with what I consider to be the vlogger's curse. By the time I'd finished filming, all that gorgeous light that you can see on my face on this clip here for instance and throughout the video as i'm filming unfortunately it all dissipated behind a low lying cloud on the horizon and it just completely stole everything that was gorgeous about the light at the time of filming. I call that the vlogger's curse. Throughout this video, I only took three pictures. I'll show you them all. And unfortunately, they are below par at the very, very best. But I did say at the start of this year that I should really show more of the times when things didn't quite go to plan. You've been warned. This is just so common with this area. That's what I found when I was down here last time. These rocks here, they're just fantastic for foreground interest. And that's clearly why that other photographer is, well, he's a little bit further over, but that's why he's come down here. Look at that. So there's so much to play around with there in the foreground, so much. That is really, really nice. Yeah, and again, 
Wow, what a place. What a stunning place. Then I got me wellies on though. Right, so, there. I think I'm gonna hit that bit there. Look at these rocks here. How cool are they? Look at the shapes and patterns and colors. So if you can time it right, so the sea is up and down here, you can get some tremendous shots, I imagine. Some tremendous shots. I think the tide is probably out a little bit too far for that now. But uh, these are nice. These are nice here. So what I'm looking for now, as the sun starts to drop, to my right hand side with me framing like this, it's gonna cast a nice, well hopefully a nice orange glow across these rocks. So what I'm trying to do is find rocks on the left hand side that look good so that they'll highlight, or they'll cast a bit of, a uh, bit of glow from that sun. That sun is looking pretty decent at the moment. To my right hand side, there's some nice rocks there so I could possibly go to the right hand side and maybe they'll light up, but you can see, look at that, look. That's come right up to where I was. So the photographer that's with me said you gotta be very careful here because sometimes, you know, you get these rogue waves that come all the way up. And further across there, more and more and more. I mean, look at this here. Jeez, jeez Louise. Right. Um, okay. Ah, <laughs> spoiled for choice. I think I'm gonna go with something like that. Right, camera at the ready. Follow me down. Let's have a look. Okay, coming out to the right hand side. Like I said, I love these rocks. I think they're brilliant. Problem is soft sand. I cannot place my tripod legs on soft sand. Uh, sorted. Time to stop dithering. Time to crack on. So one of the problems you're faced with, i.e. now, I need a, a lens wide enough so I can shoot down these set of rocks on the left hand side and still see the sea on the right hand side, which is pretty cool and that works for me. But these now look quite insignificant, but moreover, if the sun sets and it's not a bright glow in the sky, then it won't cast any light on these rocks here. So let's just throw you guys in the camera a second, just so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So that's my composition at the moment. Like I say, I'm, I'm hoping to cast a bit of light across here. It looks very dark on the video, but it's not. But the one thing, like I said, I don't like, the light's gonna drop down here on the right hand side, but the boulder here, which is quite dominant in the frame, is also on the right hand side and I don't like that. So what I'm going to do is probably move further across and maybe bring this boulder on the left hand side. Let's have a look at that. Now again, super busy. Not really keen on that. I think I've missed the boat in terms of trying to capture uh, the nice light uh, with the waves in between the rocks. It looks like the tide is out a bit too far for that, but if I play it right, these rocks here will cast a nice light on the side, brighter than what you can see on this video. But now these rocks to the left hand side and the sun setting on the right hand side will be perfect. I could possibly go out a little bit further and maybe just use that one single rock in the foreground. Love that, straight out, may include this in the foreground and the water at the moment is up and down here so I can play around with shutter speeds. So let's go grab you. <laughs> I am literally rushing like a crazy fool. I've got about five minutes left. That is what I think I'm gonna go for. I quite like that, unfortunately. This is my curse. Low lying cloud has killed that sunset. What a shame. What a real shame, but I'm here and 
I need to try and grab something. If it doesn't work out, then so be it. The photographer was just telling me that certain times of the year, I won't tell you when he said, but certain times of the year, when the conditions are right and you get some real big break in waves down here, then you can come away with some amazing pictures. Oh, what a shame. What a real shame. Well, he was not wrong with the rogue waves because I just got a rogue wave that's gone all the way over my wellies. I couldn't move left or right. The wave came right up and over my wellies and now I've got soaking wet feet. <laughs> One last ditched effort. I'm gonna go out there, see if I can perch myself on these rocks and try and isolate that one rock there and slow my shutter speed right down and uh, maybe turn this sea into an ice skating rink like I normally do. I've ended up around the other side, so I'll come and grab you. So once again, I'm not sure how exciting this is gonna be for you guys to see, but um, I wanna try and make my way out here to isolate this one rock. There is still a bit of color in that sky to be had, just a bit. That's a big wave! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Jesus! Well, I might not get any pictures, but it's an exciting vlog at least. <laughs> That's the wave I want when I'm a little bit further forward. Right, let's go. I'm not convinced that I've got any good pictures at all. The light, as you've seen, just didn't play ball. I'm cursed, as always, with that low-lying cloud on the horizon. But the local photographer who I spoke to here said that this place, you know, lights up. This place lights up more often than not. Unfortunately, I just got a knot tonight, so that's a real shame. I hate it when photographers say this, but the amount of scope that's here I definitely can't wait to come back. Right, before we look at the pictures, just want to take this opportunity to thank Ian for um, uh, recommending this place. Ian, you haven't let me down. I didn't get the sunset. That doesn't matter. It's certainly not your fault, but thank you so much indeed. It's great when photographers communicate with each other. You know, local knowledge is power. Ian is another YouTuber. Do me a favor. I'll leave a link to his channel down below. Uh, I'll leave a link to his channel at the end of this video, so do me a favor, click on it and go and give his channel a look. And if you like what you see, send him some love from us.